This tutorial will introduce you to the force curve analysis in SPIP. In SPIP, you can analyze both pulling and indentation experiments. You can choose between various fitting models. These include the worm-like chain model for analyzing the unfolding events of a protein and the Hertz and Snedden models for analyzing indentation experiments. This dataset contains indentation curves. Therefore, we must go to the indentation tab and fill in the parameters. If you are working on the sample data provided with SPIP, you should set the parameters as shown here. Please also verify that the settings on the General tab correspond to those shown here. You can analyze each force curve one at a time by stepping through the curves. Simply press Calculate to add the results for the selected curve to the results grid. Alternatively, you can switch to Comparison View and analyze all curves in one go. If you press Calculate now, all curves in the dataset will be analyzed and added to the results grid. Please note that curves previously added to the grid are automatically updated. Therefore, you don't have to worry about adding the same results multiple times and distorting the statistics. Thank you for your attention.